Hey guys, uh, it's been about two weeks since I've posted a video on my sleeve gastrectomy. I am five weeks and three days as of today. Um, just would like to report that I have absolutely zero pain. I'm totally, you know, past the surgery, no problems. Um, my restriction so far is exactly two ounces of dense protein. That's my limit. Um, if I want to eat anything other than protein, it's one ounce of protein, one ounce of vegetable, and I never have room for carbs. Um, total weight loss since uh, April 7th, which is the start of my pre-op diet, and my surgery was April 17th, is 54 pounds. Um, so I'm very happy with that. And uh, no real problems with food. I am on full foods at this point. Um... The only problem I have is with white meat chicken. It's very dense and it's very hard, so I have to eat very little of it, and I have to chop it up small, chew it a lot, etc. I'm sure a lot of you guys know that. Um, chopped meat goes down pretty good. Um, I've tried some chilies. I've made some homemade chilies. Those have come out good. Um, but basically, I'm living in the world of restriction, and this is my new life, and this is our new life for other people watching it. And I have to tell you, this was a journey. It was very hard. Um, but it's worth it, because I know in six months to a year I'm going to be 170 to 190 pounds, and there's just absolutely no way around it. Um, again, I support my decision to go. Um, anyone looking at this thinking about going for this sleep gastrectomy surgery, um, just know this is hard work. You know, the new food and the new food restrictions, a lifestyle change, so you're going to have to get used to it and get used to it quick after the surgery. Um, you know, if you're not mentally ready, get mentally ready because you will be eating one-tenth the food you used to have. And I've come to grips with it, I've come to terms with it, and I feel fine and I feel great. Um, there are some times when I've gone out to eat with my family where, you know, it could be a little hard, but you get past it. You know, you will pass it and you do what you have to do. Um, you know, I've gone to Italian restaurants with my family, uh, fast food restaurants where my five-year-old son actually eats more food than I do. And you know what? That's fine. That's okay. Because I'm going to be here in 20 years for my son. If I didn't do this surgery, I was 390 pounds when I started. I, I would have been dead within 10 years. I firmly believe that. I, I would figure I would have had diabetes coming down the road, heart issues. You know, I mean, how many 400-pound people do you see at 50, 60 years old? Um, and I'm two years away from 40, so I definitely made the right decision. I'm really, really happy about the results. My surgeon, Dr. Mary Moore from Philadelphia, was awesome. And uh, sorry about the beard. I put my fish tank behind me today so you guys could enjoy it. Take a look around. So that's one of my big hobbies and passions in life, other than my family. Um... So, thank you very much for watching this, and I really appreciate it. And, again, I'm not making these videos for myself to watch my progress. I'm making these videos for other people. Because, I tell you, there's so many good people on YouTube that have gone for the surgery that really inspired me. And I'm trying to give back to other people that, you know, need some inspiration. You know, guys, girls. You know, it seems like mostly women are going for the surgery. I know a lot of guys are, but most posts and... Uh, online like on obesityhelp.com mostly women so not a lot of guy videos and good guy videos to talk about but nothing against women i love you women but uh doing this for you guys too all right i am actually topping a four minute video all right guys see you soon i'll probably check in in another two three weeks and uh inspiration to all thank you